You know, this is the 20, I don't even know how many weeks it's been, um, I gotta do some math in my head, excuse me. So, 210 would be 30, 24, 32, 33, this is the 34th Monday video that I have done since doing this and I've always done the whole thing that Monday is always a drag especially when you were just enjoying yourself these last couple of days and stuff can get a little bit monotonous especially early during the week but I felt like wearing this white shirt today for two reasons. One, because it's another Irish related shirt. What can I say? Thanks to my thanks to my friend, I'm proud of all the Irish blood that's in me. What, what, what can I say? And I feel that white is a proper metaphor for a blank, clean slate. And an argument can be made that Everybody, every day, every new day, is a clean slate. You know, it's really just what you make of it. You know, get yourself a, get yourself some, you know, metaphorical colors and go to town with whatever you want. You know, you could do the uh, Green Lantern emotional spectrum. You know, you know. Oh, you probably don't know what that is unless you're a comic book fan. All you really need to know is that, including green, there are lanterns of all the colors of the rainbow. And, you know, Roy G. Biv. You know, red would be rage, orange is avarice, yellow is fear, green is will, blue is hope, indigo is compassion, and violet is love. There's also black and white, which are death and life, respectively, but... We're not going to talk about death and life. And I say life because I'm wearing a... And yeah, I'm wearing a white shirt, and of course, white means life in the Green Lantern comics. But, again, every new day is a clean slate. Every new week is a clean slate. And even though technically the week started on Sunday, it's new. It's fun. It can be exciting. It's great, and I love it so much. But, yeah, it's really going good. Had a really um emotional weekend with uh, my parents. That was really fun. You know, um, I mean, I'm going to be seeing them later anyway, but, you know, you know what can I say? I, I'm, a, I'm a family guy. Not that family guy, not Peter Griffin. I mean... I'm not going to try and horrify you with how good my impression of Peter Griffin is, but all you need to know is that you don't need to see it. So, yeah, there, there is that. And, you know, let's see what else they're talking about. Oh, there is one thing that I learned over this weekend. And honestly, I've actually been feeling kind of down lately. And, you know, again, I just said that the last few days have been kind of emotional for me. You know, and being with my folks and everything, and that's great. But this whole weekend, this past weekend, I believe it was on Saturday. Yeah, there, yeah, it was. It was on Saturday. I actually heard one of the greatest metaphors about being me or being you, or just being a person in general. And it really is the perfect metaphor because it defines an aspect about life that we really do take for granted a lot more than we ought to. And sure, we take a lot of things for granted. Heck, we even take for granted of the air we breathe. Or the fact that the sun's going to rise and the sun's going to set. 
But through it all, every single day could be a new emotional experience or roller coaster. And there are times where you can feel down and out and just feel all sorts of, you know, negative emotion. And you know, I don't tolerate that in my videos. I try to promote positivity and darn it, that's what you're going to get. So, this weekend I heard one of the greatest expressions ever. It started with this one guy talking, I heard. And he thought of the concept of what a $100 bill is. Well, what do we know a $100 bill as? Well, we, we, we know it as money. We know it as a form of currency. You know, we use it to buy things. We use it for the sake of, you know, getting our, um, being our potential ducks in a row. You know, whether we want to get groceries or, you know, a toy or a video game or, you know, anything that we want within, obviously, that, you know, $100 limit. And, yeah, one, a one... One $100 bill does have a limit, as we all do. And it really is important to know what those limits are. And yeah, sometimes your limits may, and the, then the, and the limits of other people vary. Much like we as individuals vary. That's what makes us unique. That's what actually makes us beautiful, in a way. But... There's another meaning to that, that I really do feel we take for granted, and it took what I heard on Saturday to really, really make me feel, a real pick-me-up, if you will, and there are times I really wish I thought of this myself, because I really could have used that advice myself, but with that said, we all know that there are different kinds of you know, dollar bills, you know, the $1 bill, you have the $5 bill, the $10 bill, the $20 bill, the $50 bill, the ever elusive $2 bill. Oh yeah, there's such a thing as a $2 bill. I believe Jefferson's on, no. Son of a gun, who's on the $2 bill? John Adams, maybe? Oh, well, that, that that's not the point. The point is, there are different, you know, sets of dollar bills for the sake of the amount of currency. You know, there, there's a limit to that. And, you know, that's all well and good. And much like the, those different dollar bills, there are limits that we all have. And, again, limits, that's what makes us human. And, you know, humanity is the most beautiful thing we have. That's just, that's just how it is. That's just how life works. But then there's the $100 bill. Now, we all know that they don't make any dollar bills higher than $100, which is actually a fair number. I mean, 100 is a significant number in life in general. You know, there's, there's um, you know, obviously the $100 bill. There's the... Um, there's, you know, you, you technically can't have more percentage than 100. You know, you, um, you have 100 centimeters in a meter. You know, there's, you know, hundreds of ways the number 100 can be interpreted as. But just sticking to the $100 bill itself. They don't make any currency or dollar bill higher than that. So, where am I going with this, you might ask? Well, think of it this way. Say you have a $100 bill, and you accidentally, you know, drop it. Maybe and do, maybe like a little dirt pile or whatever, basically, you know, making it, you know, dusty or whatever. When you do that, it doesn't really change the fact that it is a $100 bill. Just like 
If I were to change my clothes right now, from this white shirt to one of the other shirts I have, it wouldn't change who I am. Or another example. If I were to, if say you were to have the $100 bill and you were to crinkle it up in your pocket, that dollar bill is still going to be there. It's still going to be worth as much as $100. Much in the same way that if you were to accidentally fall or get hurt, you know, that happens and it stinks, but you're still you. You're still who you are. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So, where am I going with this? No matter what happens, no matter who says what to you, or how you feel, and honestly, since the fact that I'm saying this on a Monday, it would probably make a lot of sense I do say this on a Monday. But we, you, me, anyone watching this, everyone you know, everyone you don't know, we are all $100 bills. We are not worthless. No one's worthless. Because all life is beautiful. It's worth living. And I felt what I heard on Saturday. The fact that we are all $100 bills is the perfect metaphor for the fact that no one's worthless. And you should never feel worthless either. But if by chance you do... There's always the chance you can talk to a friend or a loved one. I mean, I say at the end of my videos, if you ever want to talk, you know, talk to me. Please. I'd love to be able to help out in any way I can. But that's the good thing about good people out there. And I mean, I'd like to think I'm a good person, but that's the thing about the world. It is filled with people of... All shapes and sizes and colors and races. And they're all beautiful in their own way. No one's ever going to judge them for that. But if there's one thing that I can definitely remember for the rest of my life. Is that none of us are worthless. We are all $100 bills. I really hope that. Today's video brought you some positivity and a little bit of extra self-worth. Because honestly, I really feel good right now. And I hope you do too. And speaking of feeling good, I said yesterday that today would be the last History of Competitive Pokemon video that I'd be able to put in the link in the description below, seeing as how a new video is going to come out every Sunday. And I'll just give out the new one the next Monday. So, I'm not entirely sure what I'll put if I do anything at the end of those videos, but we'll see. But I can tell you about this last one. I feel it's also a slightly perfect metaphor for what this video is. Beautiful. The message of this video, I felt... Well, at least I feel it's beautiful. I mean, it's your opinion. You can do whatever you want. But, yeah. This this was a good video, I feel. Then again, I know for a fact that there's all sorts of people that are watching it. Good. Bad. But they're not worthless. They are all, you are all, I am, $100 bills. So, like favorite share and hit that subscribe button i could really use the support on youtube i'm humbled i made this video for all of you guys to watch and enjoy for today i'm hopeful that we all have a wonderful monday and remember if any of you guys ever want to talk or chat i'm always going to be here to lend an ear and i'm always going to have your back so take care everybody